What's up guys, it's Aristov FPV here with our home built 1.6 meter FPV aircraft for observing and long duration medium range FPV. So in this brief video, I'll show you guys the INF settings I've selected so you guys can see what to aim for in the settings when you configure your INF flight controller. And if you guys haven't watched the build video, click on the top right corner to go to that video and see how I've built my 1.6 meter UAV from scratch using experimental airlines techniques. So this is the configurator of INAV, it's 6.1.0, and here we are. So if I go to the mixer, you can see in a moment uh, that it's of course in airplane mode. Um, and you can see that I added a bit of more uh, weight, so that means like the um, uh, flap or deflection increase uh, in the rolls, uh, because like my ailerons aren't that big, so I need like a lot of deflection to have a good bank. I also added uh, flap run modes uh, for slow approaches and landings. And when I go to output, uh, you can see the settings over here. Um, and I also actually had to reverse all the channels because they were all in reverse, but now like they are good. By right? just pressing like the save to test them and then save and reboot to permanently save those settings. And now when I go to the fail safe setting uh, or the fail safe tab, you can see that it's in return to home. Uh, when I go to the configuration tab, um, I enabled permanently enabled launch mode for fixed wing. So what this will do is every time you arm the aircraft, it will automatically go to uh, launch mode. So you just have to raise your throttle, set a uh, mode uh, that it will enter after the all launch and then launch your aircraft. Um, I didn't do much on the PID tuning tab. I didn't touch the PIDs at all. Uh, but I touched it like on the rates and expo settings over here. Like I don't like a lot of uh, expo, so I just decreased like the values to 15% on roll and pitch and also yaw uh, and nothing else. And so here we are at the advanced tuning tab and I did a lot of work in here. You can see here the fixed wing auto launch settings. I did a lot of uh, changing uh, in this section, like the throttle, throttle delay, motor delay. Uh, spin up time, uh, launch throttle, like all the uh, basic settings for a successful auto launch. Also like the climb angle is a thing. And then right next to that is the uh, fixed wing navigation setting. So for autonomous flights, um, I also did like uh, change the settings to my liking. Um, not everything is perfect as you can see. And so here are the fixed wing navigation settings, basically for autonomous flights, like the throttle uh, manual throttle increase, uh, which allows you to uh, control your throttle to an extent uh, while it's flying autonomously or in return to home. Uh, pitch to throttle ratio is also a thing I changed. And loiter direction, which has been set to yaw, will actually allow you to change the loiter direction. So let's say for instance, I uh, press right, uh, the moment that the plane will loiter, it will only go right. But when you uh, select a yaw, and save and reboot that setting, um, it will allow you to give rudder input to the opposite direction and it will start the loiter in the opposite direction which you gave input by rudder. So that's a nice feature. Um, and then in return to home settings, of course, I change the altitude, the type of return to home and how it will return to home. Um, and yeah, I didn't do anything on automatic landing settings because um, I'm never gonna do that. Um, and waypoint navigation settings, I also changed some values like the radius, uh, safe distance, um, and like in the mission control tab over here, you can uh, set more settings for a successful waypoint navigation. Um, receiver tab, of course, has been set to serial. Um, I haven't connected the um, radio control, so I cannot show much over here. Uh, here's the mode switch, all the mode settings that I have um, activated, you can see over here. Uh, I didn't do anything on adjustments, uh, GPS. Um, I have U-Blocks uh, protocol, GPS for navigation and telemetry. Of course, you're gonna uh, make this section blue, otherwise your plane would not have GPS. Um, I didn't do anything on magnetometer, uh, mission control for making your waypoints. 
So here we are at the OCD tab and you can see the uh, OCD layout that I created with uh, the basic settings like battery, uh, amperage on the bottom left. Um, you got the speed of course on the left, altitude on the right, um, and then like distance and milliamp hours uh, efficiencies on the bottom right, uh, throttle on the uh, top right, and then RSSI and GPS on the top left and then of course like the current distance uh, in the middle a bit higher up like with the throttle and RSSI and that's like basically how I set up all my OSDs on every aircraft like that's how I like it and then of course like the flight time uh, the minutes on the top right as well and yeah that is basically it for all the INF settings that I um, have put into this flight controller for this aircraft uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or need any help, uh, leave a comment uh, in the comment section and I will help you out with any settings. So because I lost the original made of flight video, I recorded some low passes on the days after to give an idea how it flew at the maiden flight. I have to mention that the roll rate was increased because I didn't have much roll authority before by the shallow aileron surfaces which are 1.75 inches in cord at the root and half an inch at the tips. This gives an average control surface cord of 1 1 8 in inches which is below my average aileron cord of 1 1/2 inches. So after adjusting the aileron rates I tried to auto tune the flight controller on a relatively windy day which ended up causing the plane to oscillate in the roll axis so I have to try it on a calmer day. And other than slightly trimming the UAV there was nothing else I had to adjust and created waypoint missions afterwards to capture the following air to air footage. So that kind of sums up the final steps for me to having a successful UAV home build using an INF flight controller. I hope you guys gained more insight on how I configure my UAVs and if there are any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below so I or others can help you out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.